crazy in Rocky Top. I hope all of y'all was catching that game. Mike lighting up his cigar. You yeah, already man. know. Let's go. You <laughs> already know. You already know. So this is the first yeah. time Tennessee has beat Alabama in 16 years, and this was all over one field goal. So, hey, shout out to the uh, to them. Uh, him done. Hooker completed 21 of 30 passes for 385 yards and five touchdowns. Uh, and I'm so tired of uh, hearing about Bryce Young. Okay, his arm is good. We know. Are right, he fine? He all right. Uh, so he threw for uh, – he was 35 for 52 for 40, uh, 455 yards and two touchdowns. Uh, and Nick Saban, he, he's still back with the excuses. He calls – he says his defense is a little bit soft. Uh, so, Mike, what's your comments on that? I know you got something to say hey about man, Saban and pa- his excuses. Paul Feinbaum always calls out Nick Saban. Look, when Nick Saban loses, he's a sore loser. He comes up with all these excuses. Like, Paul Feinbaum already exposed Nick Saban for this. You know what I'm saying? And and here's the thing. I got Bama fans on the timeline, Bama fans talking about the refs and stuff. I didn't hear you say anything about the refs when you had your close victory against a crappy Texas A&M team. You know what I'm saying? You didn't say nothing about the refs there because if the refs had to did their job and caught the P.I.s, you don't win that game. You know, and when you're talking about the Heisman moment, when, when, when you have one of these top 10 matchups, right? That's a Heisman moment. And him, Don Hooker, <laughs> is I'm him. Done. Yeah, man, he is him. Uh, he had his Heisman moment. I can't say that Bryce, you know, did because he didn't lead them to the to the victory. He couldn't bring them back, you know, um, on, on the last drive where they had to kick the field goal. You know, if he was if if Bryce Young was that guy and was it was the Heisman moment, you go down there and you score the touchdown, not settle for the dink and dunk field goals that they had to that they had to uh, do and end up missing it. You know, uh, so shout out. To Hendon Hooker bringing Tennessee uh, back to prominence. Um, I don't. I can't. I can't recall the time that Tennessee was uh, ranked in the top five. You know. So shout out to Tennessee for everything that they did in that game, man. And uh, I do want to say, this game. No one's talking about how this game could have been a lot different if Tennessee's defense wasn't over pursuing because they had Bryce Young in the backfield multiple times, and they missed them. So shout out to their defense, man, for making the second half adjustments and actually getting to the quarterback. And I'll tell you this, because I said this when Bama went up against Utah State, right? I said, I don't like that offense. I don't like that offensive line, man. I seen Utah State getting back there. They just couldn't get Bryce Young down, right? That's what was going on. And then you saw the adjustments by the Tennessee defense, and they was able to start getting to Bryce, start uh, getting some hits on him, start making him uncomfortable and making incomplete passes. That was the difference, was this, was that those adjustments, man. And, uh, you know, now everybody sees the blueprint on how to beat Bama for the year. My thing is this, man. You look across all of the nation, look at all the college football right now, and – Defense is just MIA. It's MIA currently. I don't see a team, a single team that's just playing shutout defense. So with that being said, you're starting to look at who has the best offense. And you see Tennessee, man. I don't know if I've seen a better offense this year than Tennessee. They lose their best wide receiver, and they're still scoring the same amount of points, man. Shout out to Hendon Hooker, man. He should be talked about more in the Heisman race. I think this game will do that. Because he's my fantasy quarterback. I'm watching his numbers every single week. Yeah. He's going for Heisman-type numbers. And I also saw his numbers. I saw um, his numbers compared to uh, Joe Burrow and LSU offense compared to Tennessee. And, and it's lining up perfectly. So, hey, who's to say Tennessee can't win the championship, man? I want to see what they go to Athens and do, man. I want to see what they do against those Bulldogs. It's lining up. Their offense lines up just like LSU, and I feel like the best offense will win the the national championship this year, whether that's Ohio State, Tennessee. Who's going to come out there? Who's going to have a little more defense? Because defense is just MIA right now, man. In this game, I think it was 1,000 total yards is given up, 100 total points is given up. So, 
it's the year of the offense again. Last yeah. year was the historical defense from Georgia. This year it's the year of the offense again, man. Let's go, man. Let's go. Hey, Let's you go. know, you know, as Tennessee fans, we already looking uh, forward to the upcoming weeks. Uh, also, the last time the Vols were ranked in the top ten was in October 29th of two thousand uh, and six. Uh, and sixteen years old. Yeah, about sixteen years old. And the last time they were ranked in <laughs> top five was in two thousand and one. So I was 11 years old. Yes. Hey, my, my guy Drew said you can't, you can't run with 11. That's legit. Hey, four, three. hey. that's I'm true. Against some NFL talent, that guy is out there. And, and, and here's, the, here's the kicker. Here's the kicker. I think that Tennessee only has maybe one, maybe two five star uh, talent on their team. Majority no. of this talent. Yes. Tennessee gets recruits now. No, honestly, they haven't been able to. It, they literally, they only had maybe one or two five stars on that field in this game. That okay. that on the okay. field in this yeah. game, they had more three stars. So when you're talking about the talent versus the time, this is why before the season, while I was telling people, player development matters more. You could talk about all of this talent and everything. But if you're not getting developed, what does it matter? But then I also got to bring up Tennessee because, you know, we knew if y'all beat them, y'all was going to run, you know, storm the field and all of that, right? Now, I know y'all haven't been there in a very, very long oh, – oh, see? Thank you, Andrew. Andrew said two five stars. So I, I knew I wasn't tripping, right? So – but I got to go to Tennessee because I know y'all ain't been there before. So let me teach y'all something as an athletic department. When you have big games like this and that and, and things are going down, what you have to do is have your security with a rope ready to secure the goalpost. It's okay for the player, I mean for the for the fans to run out there. But if you allow them to take the goalpost, you allow them to carry the goalpost out of the stadium, allow them to throw it in the river or whatever. Why are you asking these people on Twitter to start donating to your fundraiser talking about hey, we, we need donations because we got a game <laughs> next week? Start Tennessee, y'all got the money? Y'all got the money? Or, or, or is all the money went to NIL? I don't know. Why are you, you asking the fans food? for 150K? Hey, man, <laughs> each game from Tennessee will be sold out from here on out, man. They'll get the money. Oh, yeah. Best believe. That's what I'm saying. Like your ticket sales can now go up. All of that. Don't be asking the the the, the uh fans for money, man. Y'all making, bro. This football stuff is a multi billion dollar, multi billion dollar sport, right? And when when um a team from the SEC makes it to the college football playoffs, right? The conference gets money. Yeah. SEC has not missed the playoffs, ain't missed the championship, none of that. So and won't. Th and there's won't. plenty of money. I don't 150k to a Tennessee university is like ten dollars, really. Why are y'all asking right. the fans for ten dollars? Hey, they just made uh renovations to that uh stadium up there, so they spent all that money on that. They needed to go ahead and get some new goalposts while inside it. I'm sure it's still floating on their riddle. <laughs> hey, GG. Now, now you Tennessee. can learn from this. <laughs> Crazy, but EG, I, I like what you said. Uh, Tennessee being a college football playoff potential, so we'll see yeah. as the season progresses. The I've year of the before. offense, yeah, the man. It, the hey, offense. right now it all runs through Georgia. Georgia. It does. Georgia. It does. Georgia. Hey, but you know what? You know one thing about it though. Alabama could still make the playoffs. Also, um, if Georgia so happens to beat Tennessee, it'll make it really interesting, man. It'll make it a really interesting situation, all those one-loss teams. 